Hello and welcome to day six of our devotions in our 21 days of prayer and fasting, where we're tuning in to Jesus, tuning in to God's voice. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the week so far, uh, where we've been digging a, a bit deeper into how we can hear God's voice. And Tobias and Ian have already shared uh, various ways we can hear God's voice. And I'd like to add another one uh, to the list today on how can I hear God's voice? And we can hear God's voice intuitively or in our hearts, kind of an impression on our hearts or our spirit, an instinct, if you were a, a gut feeling, um, a nudge from the Holy Spirit. And for some of us, when we hear that, we're like, yes, I, I can understand that that's happened to me or I totally get that God would speak in that way. And for others of us, we hear that and go, oh, I'm not sure. I'm a bit more of a rational person, a logical person. And that seems a little bit out there. Uh, but let me just share with you in Mark 2 verse 8, it says that immediately Jesus knew in his spirit this was what they were thinking in their hearts. So immediately Jesus knew, it's kind of in his spirit, in his heart, he just knew. And so it's a bit like a spirit to spirit connection. And in these 21 days of prayer and fasting, as we're expecting to hear God's voice, as we tune out the other distractions and the other voices and tune in to God's voice, tune in to Jesus, uh, this is a really valid way that we can hear God, kind of in a sensing way. And so I want us to expect us to hear in that way. And maybe you're thinking, oh, I don't know, how can I trust that when I sense something, when I, when I get a thought or a nudge, that it's actually from God and not just my own feelings or emotions? And that's a good question to ask. And in Colossians uh, chapter 3, uh, verse 15, Paul had a really good bit of advice for us. He said to let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts. Let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts. So when we get that nudge, that impression, that, that gut feeling uh, to do something, to not do something, to maybe someone's name drops into your head and you think, oh, I should call that person or see them. And whatever it is that you're facing, maybe like the early disciples in Acts 13 verse 2, uh, it says, while they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I've called them. So maybe it's a sense of calling to, to actually do something greater or, or a decision you have to make it work in your home, I don't know, for your future. Um, but it's a really good piece of advice kind of as we're, as we're praying and fasting and expecting to hear God's voice and we might hear him in a sensing way, an intuitive way, an impression on our heart. Let the, the peace of Christ rule in our hearts. Do you have peace about that? Often when it's our own feelings and emotions, there's kind of an unsettledness. But when it's from God, there's a sense of peace. Remember, Holy Spirit lives in you. And we can say, thank you, Lord, for your presence in my life. Lord, would you speak? And then when we hear from him, that we would kind of see if we can rule that peace, see if that peace is there, like being a judge, make a judgment. Is, do I have peace about that? And then you'll know it's from God. And so I pray that you would, over these 21 days, be expectant to hear from God in this way. Um, if you've never before, just be aware and alert for the promptings of the Holy Spirit, that spirit to spirit, impression on heart voice of God. And I expect him to do great things in you and through you, uh, in us and through us over these 21 days. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.